welcome to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Bree. I am here with my father, Gary. Hello. My mother, Shelly. Hello. And my brother, Bryson. Hello. Today, we're going to be chit-chatting about the most recent weekly peak that came out on Friday, which was pretty exciting. We did, uh, we finished the epoxy door. And uh, let's see, what else did we do? We finished the epoxy door. Uh, Bryson got some lettuce uh, over. Yep, that's right. And what else did we do, guys? There's another. There's Garrett and Ellie put up yeah. their pool for the yeah. summer. Yeah. That's right. Uh, the pool yes, went up, right. which is super exciting uh, for, for you know for everybody. I, I'm pretty excited to go mm-hmm. swimming when yep, it yep, gets yep. when it gets hot enough. So we're just anyway. gonna have to raid Garrett's home. He he he's out outdoors. We don't even need to ask permission. We'll just go. <laughs> Just stop by. Just jump in. They're going to yeah. walk out, and we're all going to be like, hey, your pool's hey. great. Hey, can you bring some drinks? Uh, when are the hot dogs ready? <laughs> are you guys going to fry something up on, the, on your new smoker? Because that was pretty good last time. <laughs> so uh, I was really pleased with how the doors came out. Uh, wow. Really super awesome to see them in there and hung. The hardware uh, is like, fits really good with the blind work, too. I didn't think about that, how the line works black, and then the, the hardware that was used was is black as well. So kind of tied them together a little bit. We got oh, yeah. Azalea's little feedies on that door, too, which is kind of fun. I, we had fun. we had several people say, you guys should put the feet, our feet on the door. We're <laughs> like, oh, my gosh, that's so cute. Uh-huh. So we did that, uh, too. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah, and the door is not done because we still, we're still we going to get some rollers, um, hopefully tomorrow. Gary and I will run into town and get the rollers for the bottom of the door of some sort. Right, Gary? You're gonna yep. Get some, like Absolutely. That. And then we're uh, the other exciting part now that we're going to be waiting for and uh, anticipating will be Bryson's 3D printed handles. Yes. 3D printed yes. them and hopefully cast them. Cast if them all in. goes well. With Alum- the cans, aluminum. Right? Aluminum. 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 English say it differently, don't they? UK says. Aluminum. Aluminum. I don't know. Oh, we call, we say aluminum. Aluminum. Al- uranium. <laughs> um, no, probably not that's uranium. A <laughs> uh, so, uh, I suppose we should start with this from Bob Wallace. Says beautiful doors. Where did you find the deal on the epoxy? And I think we we talked a little bit in the show about how we ran out, <laughs> and so we had run into our town and from a little hardware store that's there. Yeah. There's a few of them. We called around and they had. It looked like the most of it, but it was like a hundred and thirty dollars, and it was less than a quart. It seemed like oh, it was bad. nothing there. No, it was about a quart. Yeah, that was, that was a lot of money. Um, and so, but like well, we we did get the initial pour after the yep. pour or whatever. Which the initial I don't know if that pour was really. after the pour. Exactly. Yes. And so the deal English. the deal was done on eBay. Yeah, we so went we on eBay and looked on there. Just went through a lot of sellers and to see where we could get large amounts because. Uh, Gary, you had estimated we needed three gallons, which, by the way, was probably exact. Mm-hmm. So we decided we would look for four gallons, which was a lot. Yeah. Um, but we ended up, that was right at one, I believe it was right around $160 mm-hmm. to get four gallons versus that other little bit. That was, oh yeah, that was amazing, yeah. the, the deal savings on Same that. Same stuff, too. Definitely. Yeah. So it, it was I thought it was just nice epoxy too. Yeah. I mean, not that I'm yeah. really versed in epoxy. I know mom is <laughs> more no, than I know, us, but, <laughs> but it seemed like nice. It went on real good, and uh, we had oh, nice. Yeah, there was a few. There's a few air bubbles like on the on the bird itself. There's yeah, there's some like air bubbles. Little, but I'm not sure where they were, were from because I was hitting it with the air gun and I the initial bubbles went out. And they, there was it, so it's fine. But. I haven't looked, but are they all at the same level? Yeah, it was like okay, so they would come okay. up, and then I'd hit it with the like what you do, and and it they just did not come up. The doors are perfect. The doors are perfect. I yes. love them, and they they couldn't be done any nicer. So <laughs> they, they you really know are. They're you're really always really gonna fun. have some always. you know some little thing that you're gonna notice when to you me, do them. But that's what's yeah. so fun. You know, but they're they're think... just perfect. I love them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> birds kind of flying in a cloudy area. You know. <laughs> It's a little foggy, but it, no. Foggy, I, I actually but, think that you can see the image really well. I'm no, actually, you, yeah. I'm very pleased. Oh no, it's I really when the sun shines on it, it like oh, glows. Oh, so beautiful! It's, it's very and cool. uh, I'm really pleased with how bright. I know we had mentioned this before, but I'm so pleased at how bright the colors came out. I was not yeah. expecting that. Jeez, I was really like, nice. why am I putting us through pouring this colored epoxy when I could just paint it? 
we're going to be throwing real, you know, other clear epoxy over the top of it. And I, in, in the back of my mind, I'm going, am I putting us through? <laughs> what am I putting us through? <laughs> uh, but I'm really glad we did. And we are looking forward to doing other projects uh, that have kind of the same idea as well. So it all worked out super good, I think. Yeah, we, I'm Would thinking you? front door, back door. Yeah. Who are knows? you going to do some sort of epoxy thing on it I'm as well? Or just the yeah, I'm thinking a see-through fish type tank, yeah. of epoxy, like a window. I'm thinking the really? fish, I'm okay. fish tank, front too. Door. And you yeah. put fish in the epoxy walls yeah. so that you don't have to have fish in the actual tank. Yeah. We could, yeah. So you don't have to keep them alive. You know? Now, I don't know. We have a gallon left over, and I don't know if that's enough, but we had talked about putting a above the air conditioner a little piece mm-hmm. of um, – we were going to do glass, but then – we broke the glass. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say it wasn't my best day. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Bryson cut it beautifully. I did. It's just the snapping part. That well, didn't work well. I snapped it. And it you, actually held up. Yeah, you were fine until you kind of like but tipped it. Then and, I was holding it and I didn't have the right amount of pressure underneath the glass to support yeah, it. Yeah. It, it's, it. It snapped it was fine. perfect. It was perfect. But I didn't have the pressure underneath the glass to support it. And I ended up breaking it from holding it, basically. Yep. Yeah. And not holding it right. It, Oh, we were, we were this close. It was, it was a perfect cut. Fine. It was not almost much, the most but. brilliant thing ever, but then it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, very sad. Very sad. But, but. but actually, it, it allowed us to be able to come up with some ideas about uh, doing an epoxy window. Now, if you aren't familiar with quite what we're talking about, we have in the kitchen, we have those, what is it, three big windows around that circle. And in that third window that's cl- that um, we have entrance to the house and then you can come into that back door that that one door one window at the far what would it be the far right if you're window. looking at the fridge it's the far right <laughs> yeah okay there you go i'm Once trying you just to say pit, pit windows, windows and it's not working out so well anyway yeah. uh, we, if you we, look at the window it's to the right 50 milli- milli- millimeters up from there there's a little dot go 12 inches that way and you have the window <laughs> yeah there you go perfect so it's that far right window and there is uh, that's where you put our cooler which We had very much debated on where to put it because we love window rattlers. They're great for keeping things cool, but they also take up a lot of window space. So we, so we want to. In the future, maybe we'll have central air. But you know, we've gone what fifteen, sixteen years without it. It's like, what do I need that for? Yeah, and we decided that we would take the big cooler that we normally have in that back room, Mm -hmm. and um, I think we just bought it last year anyway, and brought it out to the kitchen because. we want to make sure that that area is, you know, nice and cool through the through the heat, you know, the hot part of the mm-hmm. days and stuff. Yeah, we tend to assemble in that area, so. Hey, it's where the food yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, wherever <laughs> the food is, that's we where we are. But we do not, I do not like that the top, well, right now, because that piece of glass broke, we just have a, uh, it's like a board in there now or a cardboard or something. Really and that weird. is not going to work very well. Oh, for it's the most classy <laughs> thing you've ever not. seen in all your days. Hey, look, really classes up board. the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Everything looks good in here except for that brown board right there. Yeah, so our what plan. What if we put a fish tank in the window with the cooler? What's with the fish tank? I don't know. He, I'm he just trying to figure out how to fit a fish tank in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> fish, is, fish I need wanted food a fish and tank water in the kitchen for the longest time. need to put a collar on them and walk them around now and then. doors there. That's no, right. We had joking. talked about doing a fish tank. The in doors there. look beautiful. They're more worth it than anything. But. I know you talked about a fish tank there, and I thought, nope. Doors, <laughs> Let's put some doors wait, there. Hey, the art here? What do you think? Mm-hmm. Make no sure dead fish art, in my kitchen. <laughs> make sure the art goes low enough. We can't get a fish tank in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay, so... Rachel, uh, I like to make it fit. <laughs> is it Sierra, Sierra Lante? I apologize on that last name. That's a, a little difficult but here for me. I'm sorry to say. But Rachel said, love the doors. I wish I could have seen a longer shot of them. I'm curious to know if the epoxy doors are lighter than all wood doors. Is the epoxy lighter than the wood that was routed out? I think it might be a smidgen heavier. <laughs> yeah, more dense. It's a denser <laughs> material. But plastic is lighter than some woods. Now some woods are heavy though. But these yeah. this particular wood is just a typical pine. It's not any yeah. Although hard the wood, epoxy doesn't heavier. go completely to the edge, so maybe weight's mm. kind of no, even. I thought that was kind of a fun. Good question. Fun. We should have waited before that and, and then afterwards. Let me get my slide it. rule out and we'll see if I can figure it out. <laughs> we can do more shots of the doors too. Um, when we get the handles on, we'll do some. More we'll do more shots, and I'll. I'll I uh, I thought there was 
I thought when I, we were editing it that that was a good amount, but then you get tired of looking at the same scenes over and over, and then you start cutting more and more and more. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but yeah, no. we can get some more shots when when those handles go on. And we've had a debate on whether we were going to do them in black or leave them um, with the aluminum, uh, kind of the silver look, right? So it's I aluminum. and I think we're going to go with the, uh, we'll with the aluminum. aluminum, right? Because we yeah. got those in the bathroom. Um, if you remember, if you were with us um, with the bathroom build and the cabinets, uh, Bryson cast all the handles in there and the hooks, and um, th they're beautiful. We still use them to yeah, this fine. day. They're they're solid and. They're just a very unique part of our bathroom. We mm -hmm. really like that. So like to kind of continue that idea with the kitchen doors. It'll be fun. I'm excited too. This the handles we've planned are pretty detailed. This so we'll this chair can... like holds your head up too. I mean like <laughs> Mom's you can't... my gaming chair. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, like whoa. whoa, I just it's like holds you right here in place. <laughs> Hand me it. it forces you to have the proper stature you have where to have you the go. proper oh, I think I'm kind of slumping. Hand me a keyboard. I'm hot. Let's <laughs> <go>. Quick. <laughs> I'm going to do why? some 160 no scopes or oh, 360. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You want to know why that chair holds your head up? Because when you're late at night, you really don't want to hold your <laughs> <Yeah>. head. <laughs> yeah. Another reason I, I keep my bun so high is that I can fit it onto the pillow on the back. <laughs> That's good. Okay. So uh, we also had that lettuce segment, which is pretty exciting. Your first big, Bryson, your first big Yeah, first big really haul. big haul from from that yeah we had, so had a few strawberries gave, every now and everybody then. got lettuce and we did yeah. have we have had lettuce in the past where we made a salad but nothing like this this is much this more was like a forest of greens well, well we, remember we rooted <laughs> we pulled that whole thing up and then oh, yes and then uh, we had several comments going no people you don't, were you losing don't harvest it, like, it that way <laughs> yeah <laughs> what are you doing what are you guys doing <laughs> we're like what we're just picking we're just picking it out like you'd pick weeds in the backyard. So I this know. time you just chopped it, right? Yeah. So yeah, that it should I come just back. It. I don't know if it's just a certain kind of lettuce. I'm okay, it'll yeah. Come back. Okay, so before we get into that, certain... Chatter oh, on the Wire know. says, LOL. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to get to Chatter on the Wire's question in just a second. Or uh, comment, actually. Uh, Susan Lee said, Do you just break off the leaves of the lettuce plant so they will keep growing? That was her. Yes. Well, we have been doing that. And then yes. on a couple ones that were getting a little large, they looked like they were going to flower. So I was like, oh, we don't want them to flower. Otherwise, they'll die. At least so that's to pick the top ones. So I thought, okay. So then I just cut the whole thing off, and I'm going to see if it comes back. Oh, okay. You got, well, well right. you put 80 of them in there. And so this is a different kind we can of, experiment more of a leafy with a lettuce than the head lettuce that we mm. had last time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so yes. I don't know. I don't know if the leafy lettuce will come back. Like the head lettuce. Yeah, and I would what? imagine you want to start moving to more summer crops at this point, too, this right? Because we're getting the warmth. Yeah, we do need to probably, I don't know, probably peppers and some other things. You said you can't like, put tomatoes in there? No, we can do tomatoes. We can oh, do anything. Oh, okay. I thought you anything, said. Anything, as long as okay. it's not an underground, you know. You would carrots. Like the ginger or the potatoes we'll put yeah. in a, ginger, a different somewhere potatoes, else. Potatoes, peanuts, sweet potatoes, same okay. thing. But, you know, anything that grows under the ground. You might be able to do radishes. Mm. Uh, are they above ground? I don't know. No, they're kind of just below the ground, like an onion. They you might be able because you up. have a little bit of dirt the, in there. You got two, three inches of dirt. They don't grow very big. They're it, usually possible. Do you want radishes, yeah. though? Who eats radishes? Oh. No. <laughs> I like radishes. Okay. I grew I up mean, there's room radishes. for them. If you grandpa want to, you can to go do... out there and plant yeah. them. <laughs> grandpa used to have radishes. Uh, yeah, yeah, but didn't he yeah, do something likes... with them? They were so good. What, what he did with them, I don't remember. cook them? I don't know if Ate them raw. They were just raw. <laughs> <laughs> Put them in salad. Yeah, I, I like those. Yeah. I was, I was okay. Radishes aren't bad. And then he was like, I don't remember if he kept it in the ground. They got they got hot or not, but I remember that. His little red radishes. They can get a little nice toasty, meat. yeah. Yeah, like horseradish. Ooh, okay. Those are really hot. So I just Aunt Debbie's radish. growing some horseradish out there. So we'll have, Oh, yeah, nice. we'll have some of that up here pretty soon. Oh, right on. Well, we don't need to grow radish. Prime got rib, little horseradish. Perfect. So, um... Actually, uh, asparagus might be kind of fun. Asparagus? I know you don't Is like that just asparagus. One? I am on public strike is... ever since I was very young against asparagus. It has nothing to do with asparagus. I just, I don't know. I've just always been against asparagus. Are you a hater? I know. I'm an asparagus hater, and I need to embrace it because I'm sure it's a great, <laughs> it's great good. vegetable, asparagus and it can be good. cooked amazingly, but I'm just yeah. like, ew. No. no. I, I think, isn't asparagus <laughs> the one that you have to grow for a few years before it you can harvest it? It has to grow a long oh. time. Yeah, it takes yeah. much more care than a, hey, what oh. about well, a um, salad or something. Oh, <laughs> they look like little miniature head lettuces. Well, that's... <laughs> what is that called? Um, what? Not huh? cabbages. It's not cab They look like little cabbage Spar heads slash lettuce heads that grow on the plant, 
and you oh, take them off. I, I don't. And I don't you know. cut them in half and eat them with oh, butter. Oh, Brussels sprouts? Brussels Thank you. Sprouts, <laughs> sprouts of Brussels. I so. would guess that Brussels sprouts is a winter crop. Well, probably. Fall, that kind but of thing. Because okay. it's like the lettuce and Those stuff. Those would grow because that's just a stalk with a little... That'd be fun, wouldn't it? That would be fun. Yeah, yeah. I remember Those we ate, really had cool. some with roasted in like bacon. It was Ooh. roasted in bacon, and there were some other things in it, and Those I think it had some onions ever. in it too, and they were like roasted, and oh my gosh, sesame seeds. That's the best. That was so good. Those were the best. That was so good. I've oh ever had. Sorry. No, That's perfect. No, no. Uh, Lori uh, Mangold said uh, asks, so are you going to sell some of this food at the farmers market? Not now. Uh, no, anything I that no doesn't make it market. past us at the time we eat it will probably yeah. go out to neighbors or friends, yeah. friends, family. family, Garen and Ellie, probably yeah. people in yeah. excess that we Unless have. Garen and Ellie's grows really big and all of a sudden we're trying to give each other the <laughs> same things. <laughs> then we'll start handing out to the neighbors. <laughs> I'll, I'll trade your world. zucchini for my zucchini. Yeah. Should be enough neighbors and friends to give stuff to. <laughs> oh, zucchini gosh. grows yeah. really good. Your <laughs> head of lettuce with my head of lettuce. <laughs> Yours is leaf yep, lettuce, yep. mine is head lettuce. Let's trade. Trade. Uh, zucchini is the kind of the big running joke because it grows so well out here, oh gosh, and you always yeah. get zucchini. They're like, "Oh, it's a big family here. Have some zucchini." Remember, but we do make really was, good zucchini bread. So there's like, a we lady do use way it, up but on it's the just kind of funny because it grows. There was okay. a lady up on the hill that used to come by and give us these horseshoe shaped. Remember the horseshoe? Ooh, those, those were flash. so good. Uh, those were so yeah, good. They she were, gave uh, me seeds one time too, and then I, but I, I wasn't successful with them. At the time, it was those were the old right. days before you had a green thumb. I still don't have a green thumb, but yeah. if you, you do, do things a, a thousand thumb. times, one time you get a hit. <laughs> 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 I have to say, though, Brie, I do believe, and um, anyone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think zucchini grows good for everybody. Oh, I think if you want everything? success, go with the zucchini plant. We should plant. find okay. a way to make fuel out of it, like a biofuel, and that's what oh. we should grow for fuel for our it, cars. Now, that means we need some kind of sugar. That I don't think zucchini has that much sugar in it, does it? Ah, better off with going with corn. Okay, we are not getting into fuel. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Glycerol. And fuel. I was already yeah. snoozing off as we were going into that. <laughs> Wait, Bryce is talking. I love you guys. No, it's not bad. It's just. Oh, like, they're talking about science again. Greg, fall asleep. <laughs> I love you, but no. Susan uh, Griswold says, um, okay. Will Garen and Ellie's dogs get in the pool? More importantly, if they do, can they get out? And, I, and the answer is, I don't think they will be getting into the pool. They didn't last year. And yeah. the water is up high enough, so in case they did manage to get in, They're I think they would be. Everything is all out, fenced yeah. off around that area too. So yeah, yeah, I don't have everything section. Everything. Yeah, I don't. And they have their own little pool yeah. there. Yeah, I have. They saw. didn't get in last year, and I, I no. sincerely doubt they'll be. And if they do, they're really great swimmers. So we'll. Yeah, they'd be able to get they've out got, too. Plus, they'll be able to get out. No, nobody, you know, everybody's somebody's home all day too, you know, all the time too. Yeah. So it's not like. And when they're not, they're locked up, you know, yeah. in in their areas. Yeah. So they they keep they're really they take good, really good care yeah, of their dogs. It's good to be cautious dogs. about that, yeah, though. You know, of course. You know, see mm -hmm. a dog drowning. So that would yeah. be bad. <laughs> Very you want bad. to tell you my dog story? Yeah, Which one? yeah. Tell your dog okay. story. Okay. Um. Um. I had my parents had a an above ground pool kind of um, when I was, old. I wasn't living at home anymore. I had gone off to college and stuff. And I had come back there and, and I was visiting with mom and dad and I had a friend over and um, they had their dog over too. So we put the dog in the backyard with our dog. We had a big white Samoyed, my parents did a big white Samoyed dog. And um, and all of a sudden we're just visiting in the kitchen and and we see the our dog, we called her Sammy, um, she came to the back door and just started jumping up and down and up and down on on the back door. And we're like, what is going on? We've never seen the dog act so crazy. And we ran to the back sliding door, opened it up, and looked out. The deck was on, on the second story. We looked down, and sure enough, Winston, my friend's dog, was in the pool. And it was winter. And he had run across the top of the, you know, we had like a cover on there. Oh my, my parents goodness. had a cover on there. And he didn't know it wasn't solid. And he was just <gasps> just in there. And for some reason, um, the dog knew to come and warn us. And we wow. ran down there and saved Winston. Yeah. <laughs> Aww, happy ending. That yeah, dog was so cool. Wow. I think your brother trained him to say, 
I love you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a cool dog. Yeah, he was a cool dog. I remember him. Or she, he. I can't remember she. if it was a girl she or a boy. Yeah. I don't it think we like ever knew. It seems like in your family, it's just an <laughs> it. She knew. And it, like, grandma, I love grandma, but she never says the right gender of the dog. No. no. Like, she, and it changes as the day goes by. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, isn't he great? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she, you, just, you know, it's just interchangeable. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. She's funny. So, she, fun. she cracks us up. Okay, so Chatter on the Wire says, LOL, Bryson had his, LOL, Bryson had his hair grow really long from last week to the beginning of this week and then got it cut short again halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you do, you know, long videos and somebody gets their hair cut in the middle of it and we move stuff around in the timeline and then... He does, and he doesn't. Yeah, we didn't yeah. want to run. We had so little to show of the doors last week, yeah. and so we decided to save that footage until um, on Friday because all we had was just that little bit. Yeah, crossover. Since, since we had to wait for uh, the shipment to come in from eBay. So, so yeah, time Bryson delay got there. caught up in there. Yeah, we yeah. chose I to do – what was last week? What did we choose to do last week? Oh, geez, uh, we remember. did the – the week One before we did the hyper tufa pots. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We chose yeah, to do the hyper tufa Shay did the whale. So. Yeah. The whale of a tail. And hypertufa yeah, is like, some, that's uh, a several weeks long, so you have to kind of gather the footage to s- to put it out. So We have some beehive footage eventually come out. No, we yes. have beehive stories. That can actually, we talk about beehive stories? That's been going on for a little while, so you'll have probably beehive? long hair and yeah, short talk hair. Beehive. And hair and short yeah, hair, especially but. honey harvest. Okay. Woo. Let's talk beehive. What is Remember the, the last time bzzz. you and I went out? Not last time. Let's do the time before. Oh, if Let's anyone tells beehives. you bees are easier to take care of wait, at wait. night, say no. Yeah, we'll <laughs> 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 just, just say no, because that, that's just not true. Just say no. But um, You can't see them. They, you'll pinch them. They sting okay. you. It's bad. So we will uh, be bringing you a little bit of the footage on the beehive. It's oh, pretty yeah. exciting. But, yeah. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for oh, yes. more. Now, I have, I've got off topic. I think I have one off topic or off the weekly peak topic. Um, comment that was made, or I'm, I'm not sure if it was a question or a comment here, but I think it is a question here. But um, do do we have any more that we wanted to say on the like uh, the epoxy doors or the? Uh, yeah, I don't think we finished or? our thought on the epoxy yeah, above the above the um, um, uh, air conditioner. Air conditioner, mm-hmm. yeah. W- that that piece of glass we want to put in there that's going to be oh, an epoxy yeah, glass. Should we talk about? Oh, we already talked about the glass. And I just want to ask if anybody knows how you know how it, it, can we use what was it? you were looking at maybe wax paper or something so that we can create this sheet and yeah, what do we pour on that glass will... another sheet of glass do that on top of stick. so we can get a perfectly flat like piece and then we just like maybe tape like boards on, on, in a frame on that piece of glass and then we do the maybe or maybe on a piece of wood or something or metal yeah or i don't know how we how we can just pour just a a thin, and then we want to do a design in there as well, and then that kind of thing. But I, I don't know, um, you know how we. It how seems do you like we should just sheet? we should go. I, I don't yeah, know. It, we should just be able to, you know, on this sheet doesn't have to be but a half an inch thick total of uh, epoxy, right? Ooh, I hope it's not that thick. We may not have enough. We only have a gallon. You don't need it that big. Let's do. A, can gonna, we do a quarter? Pretty tough. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Might not. I think might we have to do more. Three eighths. What I want to do. Let's negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to do is pour a little bit of epoxy. Then I would like to do kind of what we did for the doors and do a black outline. I want to do between one and three hummingbirds and um, and the outlines and then do the color, co- color pour inside the yeah. sections like we did. And then do clear over the top of it. That's, I think, the plan. And it's not going to be a big hummingbird, but it will be like, you know, it'll be a little small one in the corner. You know? I don't know if cute. you've said yeah, that. Yeah, that would be cute. Like yeah, so that's I think that's the plan so for that. Just pour a little layer, and then do the effect, and then another little layer. So it probably won't be that thick. Yeah, uh, I'm not sh- sure. Like on the, maybe we can get a thinner way of putting it out. You know, like a thinner way of doing the black outline because I have it going out really thick for the doors. So maybe I can find some way to send it through the eye of the needle. <laughs> <laughs> to make it less oh yeah you know, oh, right. wall you know? there, though, so your resin yes yeah, so i'm not sure how but we're some kind of syringe that's surface, you know matter. like a 16th well, inch syringe or something, something. That leaves a 16, yeah i don't we'll figure it out but Ooh, i have fine. an idea oh, i have a brilliant idea what if we okay maybe it's not brilliant but i don't know <laughs> what if we took and we poured resin right a good chunk of resin in there yeah. we took a syringe and a needle 
with different types of resins and we poured it into the mold. Like you would one of those jelly cakes? Like you would one of those jelly cakes. You <laughs> stick it in the mold and you do your jelly drawing, cake. right? In the resin. So it brings it leaves a bead of, of different colored resin in there. That would be interesting. I don't know if you could get anything specific, like make it look like something. Maybe you'd have to. But that's an interesting concept. We have seen that stuff kind of run, though. Remember when the blue hit the clear? The blue just went. And we had to kind of. Just ran. Yeah. Cause it's very liquidy. It's not very thick. Yeah. I think we better resin. stick with your. Well, I think your, your idea is ready. I was just thinking of just another to idea it. to try. Yeah. A little and maybe they something. have different colors. And also, too, maybe maybe there's just a, a different kind of paint that would work, too. Yeah, maybe you could do paint in there. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, well, yeah, it maybe you like don't do another kind of resin. Maybe you do, like, a, a paint or something, a little thicker goop that isn't going to mix with the resin as easily. I don't know. I'm, you know that sound, both sound good. Sound we good. can experiment. Sorry. We, we can fine. experiment. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. You never know. That'd be pretty cool. So, yeah. did you did you did you have anything else there? No, no. That's I was just gonna. You were just see gonna. If there's that any good suggestions on how to make that flat piece? If there was a. All right. I just. Don't what know. to pour it on too? I still don't know what yeah. to do that on. I'm thinking again. Okay, I'm thinking so a like piece of uh, wax paper. Wait, a sheet of glass, piece of wax paper, wood for the frame, with maybe some wax paper on the frame, and then pour it in there. Yeah, but it doesn't okay. have to be a sheet of glass though, does it? Well, well, I was thinking a sheet of glass because it's super flat. Okay, but that's true. But maybe a piece of wood or something would work, but then we might have yeah, yeah, yeah. a bumpy, fun ride. Not that okay. we don't have, I mean, we don't have any past non-bumpy surfaces that we've ever made. <laughs> Never. I mean, bump- we are always extremely yeah. level in everything. Always. Floors, I don't know. our walls. Flat, Look leather. at how flat these surfaces are. <laughs> <laughs> they really are flat <laughs> compared oh, to some other ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go grab. Um, I'm gonna go grab the the top comment. I think we, we usually do a top comment. Did you want to do the top comment? Mark? No, go ahead because you've got it up there. Okay, sorry, I'm playing Blair in the. I know you're you're doing good over there. Okay, so uh, Debbie Wood, the top comment here is Grandpa sure is in love with his granddaughter. <laughs> yep, gotta love her. She's a sweetie. <laughs> I really, I really liked the end scene of seeing all of the family together putting the lettuce in there. It was really fun to go over there and and doing the music over that and everything. That was that was fun to put together. That end section was was a lot of fun for sure. Mm -hmm. It's amazing too when you drop like like they were showing like when you take like normal plants in a normal pot and you just take them, you put them right in the aquaponic system. Mm -hmm. They don't dip at all. They just stay happy. But if anything, they get they get even happier. You know, mm-hmm. after a transplant, normally a plant just like oh, wants to die, you bit. know? Yeah. But no, this usually if you put it in an aquaponics, at least from what we've seen, they actually pop up even more so than they were. Wow, mm-hmm. that's amazing. The second top comment, which mm, I don't know if experience. that's proper English, is um, Catherine Blodgett uh, says, uh, uh, quotes, every grandchild gets a door. You get a door, you get a door, LOL. <laughs> Grandpa's shoulder makes her sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> now, isn't Catherine Bloggett? She's been around yeah, a while. Yeah, I think so, you know, yeah. yeah. The Thanks other Catherine. option, her, mm-hmm. yeah, to, <coughs> instead of giving each Appreciate one a door, the other option would be to drill out. Sorry, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> Another option. <laughs> There's always somebody. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I had it. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. the other option would be to take out a piece of that door. Put her, put the next child's foot in there, and then and then put the door back. To we did have <laughs> some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, did. you know, footprint. Oh, good, because <laughs> I think that they wouldn't like to have their door and the foot being one piece. Yeah, you, I, we were thinking you just stick the foot in and leave it to let it set yeah. the resin. Somebody okay. had a good suggestion on painting the foot too. Yes, right? yes. So yes. You know, it was interesting. Right after we did it, I was like, oh, we did that backwards. We should have, we should have, yeah, put it on her foot lightly and then put it on and um i was tempted to ask if we could do it again but i thought nah we did it we were all together and it's blotchy and you know it's a memory it's, okay. it's good it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah and it's it's foot like it's org- <laughs> and you know <laughs> 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 yeah, we're gonna compare it to the other kids, and then go. What does the bottom of her foot really look like? <laughs> Azalea's you know gonna what? be about five years old, and she's gonna go, Grandma. How come you didn't paint my foot? Why did you make? <laughs> yeah, she's, yeah, she's gonna say, hey, 
<laughs> my feet used to look like that. <laughs> Honey, you were One born with feet that look like other. that. <laughs> we had a hard time finding shoes for you. <laughs> it was hard. We had to buy two sets. Split one set in half and one split set, and then you'd have oh, two sets out of horrible for we, somebody we to had, We had somebody suggest that I should have put my footprint up there, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. Yeah, was Can you imagine you dropping my foot up there? Feet. <laughs> well, for starters, you couldn't see my pinky toe. <laughs> That's like for absolute stars because we don't. I know our pinky toes don't touch ground. They're just like they're kind of our, a fashion accessory. We're they're literally. Not a toe. <laughs> <laughs> we're literally the. If you look at us, we have four toes. Yeah. All of us, just four toes. It's it's just four. There's not a fifth. That must there. be part of your family. Just four toes. You know, it is. That's part it, of your it comes family. from my side of the family. I don't have it though, but. Um, yeah. I know my brother, at least one of my brothers do, and I think my dad does as well. So. And you know what is hilarious? If you wear shoes long enough, your pinky toe, since, since my pinky toe, my, I have the same foot, yeah. my pinky toe sticks up. Yeah. And because it does, I'll wear the spot out in my shoe where my pinky toe is. And it, <laughs> on the top. On the top. On the top, top <laughs> on, the, on the foot. <laughs> That's pretty good. If you look Mine. at my shoes, you can clearly tell whose shoe it is because yeah. one side will be just worn out. Right His there. little toe's hanging out there. <laughs> <laughs> I like a fashion accessory. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't function like a toe. No. Or I, I heard Jesus. Perry though once. He's like, "This is what you got to do if you want to really shoot in basketball or something." Giving us a tip, and um, he's like, "You try to figure out how you can ground that toe. Just get it like you gotta, you gotta have control over it. And you push that toe down, <laughs> and then you jump, and you couldn't. You, you get so much lift if you could do that." <laughs> I thought, man. <laughs> Yours might go up, but if there's a lot enough of it there that you can get it wiggled back down to the ground. Actually, on my feet, I'm lopsided. One side actually is good. I fixed it when I was a child. It was very what? funny. What I did How is did I, you I fix it? Took, you I took to my toe. Yeah. I jammed it in a position where it forced it down Ooh. so my foot As would be correct growing. while I was sleeping. How did you do that? And it, my toe is like perfect. I don't know. I think I tucked it under the bed and I used kind of the other toe. I like tucked my one toe above the other one to kind of push it down. Oh. And like. Oh. But you didn't Were you self conscious about your toe? I did not toe? do it to the other one, and it's now too late now. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I've often thought that that toe was because you guys put too small of shoes on me when I was younger. <laughs> 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 no, it's the fan. No. <laughs> <Just joking. laughs> <laughs> so I forced sure. my feet together. <laughs> no, no, you didn't have shoes, remember? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. Yeah, have shoes. I ran <laughs> around without them. <laughs> yeah, everything mom could Born, do. Thorns back and forth to school, <laughs> four miles in the snow both four ways. Whatever. The Uphill. thorns, the mesquite thorns that we have out here, <laughs> yes, are some really long ones. It sometimes you get those stuck in your feet. And they're, uh, no, they're you, out. You don't if you they're wear shoes. But, uh, That's it's, so shoes don't always protect you from those no. horns. I mean, when you're looking at like a them. three inch, you know, three inch <laughs> horn thorn, there's just no, there's no stopping. There's no getting, uh, uh, it, yeah, I think it was your brother and I were driving in the truck when we were moving out here, and we'd driven the whole way and hadn't really, you know, messed with the animals or any of the plant life or anything. So we get out of the truck when we first get here. And your brother just kind of bumps into a plant, what he thinks is a green plant, with a thorn, big old hairy long thorns. It wasn't a cactus. Oh, my goodness. And all of a sudden he had this puncture wound, about a half an inch puncture wound in his arm. And he goes, hey, what's that? (laughs) Look at that. That's cool. (laughs) Anyway. Whoops. That was Barry. <laughs> wow. Perry's also walked out into the goat pen. Oh, maybe that was oh, maybe that was another. No, that was, oh, that was Troy. No, that was Troy. That was Troy, and we were visiting yeah. him. Okay, yeah. yeah. He walked up the goat pen. And he picked up one of the goat poop, and he was like, "Oh, hey, look! It's a what do you call it?" He said, "What's this?" Oh, he's like, "What's this?" And he like round, picked it know? up, and he was looking at it. We're like, it's chocolate. Um, Eat it. <laughs> we're like, that? no. We told him it was feces, and he's like, "Really?" And he holds it closer to his eye. <laughs> Troy. <laughs> <laughs> we like I was like Perry or no Actually, I think it was Troy. That Troy. Was Troy. Troy. We used to remember Put we didn't down. have any paintballs for our paintball guns. No, yeah. here we so go. We used the we deer. The deer ones are a lot Deer larger. Yeah. They fit in there in the paintball guns and they actually work. It does. It does. It does. Uh, yeah. Very unsavory. <laughs> you, guys hit, so, but <laughs> you guys are so weird. I tell you, what, kids. they're expensive. Yeah. Paintball. Well, I expensive. really liked that they. I did. Composed. I thought. I looked on the ground and I thought, hey, we could get these spread around the property if I could convince the kids to put them in their paintball guns. So I merely Let's made shoot a suggestion. Each other with <laughs> <laughs> the things we do oh for our mothers. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of, what what kind of family is this? <laughs> 
<laughs> we used to have so many airsoft battles too. Okay, yeah, we're moving on. Airsoft, I like it. Yeah, we still to this day <laughs> find airsoft pellets. And at night everywhere. they glow. Yeah. yeah, we did. We all got glow the in the dark ones. Bad idea. Oh, we thought we could Recycling find them. Recycling them was like trying to pick them all up, which I gave up. Yeah, the fight would last all of five minutes, and then all the BBs run out real quick, you know. And then, and then you were, you spent two hours collecting them again, and then another five minutes, and then two hours. <laughs> <laughs> it was stupid. <laughs> it was just stupid. And then we got old enough, and we had enough money to buy big containers of them, and then we just didn't. Well, care. yeah, and, and our, at that time, we just didn't well, really our genius thought was doing glow in the dark because we figured we could find them. Then if it glows, it doesn't. So that Not didn't as work well out. As you think. Mm. No, they were clear, so they were probably harder and it's not like they're metal they're little plastic beebs, be- bbs so you can't like you can't like pick them up with metal detector or anything uh, they, I don't they know. disappear they're still on the property all over the oh, place yes. there are times when we you know move a rock hey look at that <laughs> bbs <laughs> bbs orange green <laughs> <laughs> there's probably degradable ones now isn't there there should be yeah there should be there it better be. be a thing that's yeah. just better mm-hmm. be a thing okay so now that we've did that since um, we've exhausted that topic <laughs> <laughs> oh actually no we haven't because i had one more thing i was thinking <laughs> but this yeah. isn't about bb's this is back to the door but i was thinking uh or, or uh what we should do for each grandkid that comes along just like we did with azalea here is we work them we work a an art piece with them their touch somewhere on it um in every project we do like if a kid gets born when we're doing the workshop for example we work an art piece you know, themed around them into the build. Each new build we do, I whatever we're up to. I you know. love that. I love that. I like mm-hmm. that. We had a lot of really great ideas, though, for uh, what we could do instead of creating doors for everybody. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, another top comment here is uh, Sork uh, Lisa says, for future grandkids, uh, uh, paint a family tree on the wall that you see when you when, when both doors are open. In each branch, you can make a smaller resin totem for each grandkid. I think the doors are such a beautiful pieces of work, nicely done. So I, I think the idea is to have a tree, and instead of you know doing the hands of the paint, whatever, it's a totem of some kind made of resin. That sounds that, cute. That does, that we does. have some plans for behind the doors there because, um, um, uh, you may you may recall that the the significance of the of the um, hummingbird. Hummingbirds. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so good. I didn't have enough sleep. Uh, I can't collect my words out. <laughs> um, anyway, um, that in the azalea flower, of course, it, it represents azalea, and then uh, the hummingbird um, represents Gary's healing from his uh, cancer. And so there's also a saying that goes along with the hummingbird, and it was uh, home to heal. And that, I believe that saying, we're going to somehow get up on the wall somewhere Mm -hmm. and maybe a couple other sayings that were of significance to us during that time as well um but they weren't as um positive sayings (laughs) i mean they were they were not something you probably want to put on your wall i mean not that they were bad sayings they just were helpful during that time but wasn't really probably something we don't want on the wall but home to heal it was a nice I think is a nice saying. Mm-hmm. So we'll be putting some, at least that up there, aren't we? Yeah, I was thinking, you know how you That'd get in some cool. kitchens where they have a black stencil of, you know, home is where the hearth is or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, like a fun little saying you have on the kitchen. Go ahead. Okay, so this is what I was thinking is you have the doors, <laughs> right? And the pantry door is probably going to be mostly closed. And I'm not sure about the, the azalea flower. I'm not sure if that how often that will be used, but I thought it'll probably be open quite a bit of the time. So we have... I was thinking you could put home to heal in in black outline, right? And then when you close the when you open the pantry, it covers it and then when you close the pantry, home to heal pops up each time behind the door. Oh, okay. Is what I was thinking. Uh, okay. Uh, cuz I was thinking if we if we did it big enough where both it goes to both doors, you're only going to be able to read half the saying for a good chunk of the time. So, I don't know. That was what I was thinking, but I don't like that. Whatever. The I'm other back. thought I just had on that is, you know, our front door, how there's, I don't know, we actually don't have this door anymore, I don't think. Well, our back door is this way. It's a, It's got a glass, a kind of a vine thing in the middle, a shade in the middle, and then another piece of glass mm-hmm. that has that shade. Well, what if we took the top of the door up, off, basically, took the shade out of there and filled it with sand, and we put home for healing in the sand? 
<laughs> and have so the cool. sand. So it's one of those like sand jars, but it's in the door. <laughs> that is How heavy is that door? And you do like cool. clear sand Stone maybe, door, or something. Man. That would be so cool. Wouldn't it be cool? <laughs> yeah. And with the light <laughs> kind of puncturing through it too, it would be a it would be kind of oh, it would be yeah. cool. a sand door. But I think as you shut it and stuff, it might start literally <laughs> intermixing, and then all of the sand. <laughs> Well, you do it like slam, slam the door and the change it changes. <laughs> Some other it saying comes like up. Oh, maybe um, we'll do resin. Etch a sketch. Yeah, yeah, etch I got a sketch. We'll pour resin. Use a in. magnet and just move stuff around. I got it though. We'll pour. We'll pour once we have it. We'll pour resin, clear resin, and then we'll seal it so it doesn't oh, move. Okay. okay. But it still has that look. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. That was a good one though, man. I feel like that would be really heavy though. Big boy door. Now, Bray, I, was big thinking, uh, yeah. I was thinking on that home to heal that it would be kind. Of, it would be just kind of a small. It'll be small. Okay, but I was just thinking behind just really the hummingbird. Cross the ball, <laughs> <laughs> but just behind the hummingbird. the hummingbird is what I was thinking. That door, not not trying to f- get them uh, into both the doors. Okay. You know what I mean? Even though it'll be small, but and are we also? I I think this week we're going to do the um, the planter valances. I, that might be in this yes. week's video if all goes well. Um, but are we going to do stencils on them too of the t-shirt designs? It, like just taking the car, um, the coloring book uh, like, and making stencils out of those? Is that kind of what we're thinking, Bryson? For we had, we had talked about that. Remember for, um, taking the... Uh, now I've done all the outlines in, in the PNGs, but I'm not sure you might need clear. I can get you whatever you need. But... but t- Picking a few of the t-shirt designs that we like and 3D printing a stencil for it and then oh, doing it in white yes, yes, over yes, the yes, balances. Yes. Okay. Are we still yeah, planning yeah. on I think we should do that. I think okay. it was. It should be really simple to do something like that. Okay. It um, should be real shallow, the 3D very, print. Very, very shallow. Yeah, yeah. Dude, like a few layers. I mm-hmm. was like, yeah, like something Just really, something I can dip in yeah. paint or ink. I know what you mean. And that would be really fast. We could probably print a lot of them. Well, okay. depending on the size of them. It probably would be pretty fast to print Okay, because I think we were going to want to do yeah. that for those um, boxes. We should choose to what save it as an SVG. About, about that size? I was thinking about yeah. each one about yeah. that yeah. size. Okay, oh. about that size? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, right now I'm working on a little, I bought this really cool auto leveling piece that I got to put on the printer bed to make the bed a little more level to the printer so it will actually be able to print larger pieces like that. Because mm. right now I can print small stuff but not very big. So... Okay, right I'm on. I'm working on that piece, cause I, so I have to get that done for the door okay. handles. So Right on. I'm so excited about the 3D printing stuff that you're going to be it's doing. It's really cool. It's going to be awesome. I've it's been... always fun when you when you add those touches. Those are like the little finishing touches that just oh take it over the top. You know, yeah, they're that. the artsy when bits. We were, when we were doing the little bit of the beehive, too, I was like, oh, man, I need a queen bee like Extruder, trap. Right? Like, I need a queen bee trap. trap. And I was like, oh, man, if I had to order this, it would be such a bummer. But I... All I did was just go over, get the file, put it on my printer, print it out, and I had it in a couple hours. And I was like, man, if I had to order this piece, it would have taken days to get here. And yeah. now I can continue with my project in just a few hours. Now, did you, know, you happen crazy. to get any video of the queen extruder? And the queen, I mean the queen in that? Exclude. No, I didn't oh, excluder. No. We did not see We don't the queen. extrude them. <laughs> We're trying we trying to extrude <laughs> we queens work, everywhere. We did not see the queen, which we know the queen's in there. Because all the bees want in. Maybe she's yeah. stuck in some honey. But we haven't seen her. Oh, she's not in it? No, we're, we're pretty confident she's in uh. it. But there's no guarantee that we didn't accidentally see Okay, so she's her. not actually in the little... Trap. I don't want to say the word because I don't say it right, apparently. But it's like... <laughs> the little queen. It's like a queen trap. Is she in the she trap? <laughs> no. I still have that. Oh. I thought I needed it, and I did print it for that project in case we saw it. So you saw just gave her, us that to... whole 3D story, oh and you didn't even use it? Well, no. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that tool that, that is highly necessary for the job. Yeah. But you may not need it. Yeah. If oh. you do need it, you have, have it. So have it's it. not highly oh. necessary. So it's not for a the necessary job. thing. Because the bee would fly I'm off. I'm so no, confused. You, no, no, you didn't it, have it is a necessary. It is a necessary thing. If you find the queen. To you want to exclude the queen from the hive. Okay. It's not necessarily it's not, necessary. <laughs> you could do it without it. True. Okay. So you know, um, if you saw the queen, though, you would want to nap it. If you it. saw That's the what queen, it would be a bit of a bummer because now you don't got nothing to hold the queen You don't with, got nothing? You know? nothing yeah. Got you. So, but you, <laughs> you, can, still, you can still do it okay. with the job that we were doing when we were moving because yeah. we were moving bees from one box to another. 
you know. So it's just the fact that you have her in the box and she cannot get out of the box. That's so if she's in or out of that, it's all almost better that she's not in it so she can roam freely. Yeah, it's actually better if she ends up just staying in there without having to be trapped. Uh, yeah. Better. Okay, but that makes sense. My experience sometimes they decide they don't like it and they just fly off and all the bees go with her. <laughs> so that does happen. We have a like I'm out. <laughs> He's snoring over there. <laughs> oh, I got uh, chips in. I He's I have a little dog there. bed on my but. on my desk that he chills out in. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if you can hear him. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> here. I'll get a video of him and you can put it in. In the okay. So okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll he got stung by over. bees today. He did okay. the poor little guy. Yeah. He did. Stung once over the eye. We got, they were we not got some stuff on The it, bees though. were not so very happy with us messing with them. Yeah, they were That's for sure. not excited about the move. But they'll get over it. <laughs> okay, well, I'll, I'll have that playing over the top. We do have visuals on this now, which is pretty exciting. Uh, they're uh -huh. not, uh, you know, maybe the, the craziest ones we've ever had. I do have plans of maybe upping the, the production quality on it now. But um, for now, it'll, it's, a, it's a camera. Yeah, By one, golly. at least one. It's maybe a, two later It's a on, webby camera. Hopefully, we won't have our own cameras. You know is that what, what you're thinking? What if we had? Here? I have enough cameras to do that. Oh no! <laughs> no and this is a view of Gary's ear. Here's and a view of what Gary's we, glasses. <laughs> actually, what would be really cool? What if we had face cameras that just came off of our head, like we're wearing a hat, and just filmed our faces? They have those. Yeah, they have Did you want one? Attached to your waist. Would that be come up this it? way? Oh, they have ones too that those? come over your head too. I think those are I can get you one. You want one? <laughs> well, I'm just thinking we could all 3D have 3D print one. one. It needs to be on a gimbal, though, so it can chill out. <laughs> and not like that. <laughs> not like shaking all around. <laughs> all right. Okay, oh, we so. We could tie it. Never mind. Well, we got one more one more here that's a little little off topic when it comes to the weekly peak, but still on topic for. Uh, oh, is mom headed places? Uh, oh, I just want you to just... see perspective. Oh, oh where? Oh, oh, sure. Okay. Oh, so. Yeah. Uh, see? Big boy. He's, he's over there. <laughs> He's that. He's that way. Well, if you're watching right, this right on there. YouTube, yeah. yeah. Oh, Dad tried to there he is, the little boy. He is so cute. Uh, I realize I'm like really super biased on that, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> he's your dog. It's like saying your kids are the best ever. Like, hey, okay, mom, whatever. My kids are the best ever. My grandkids though. are better though. Oh, yeah. He, he was, was not happy with those I, bees. You, you don't imagine this guy's sure. like this big. He's like That's really good. tiny, and the and, and the bee was so, some bee was really mad at him, and he snatched that thing out of the air and chomped that little sucker down. I was amazed at his reflexes for well, starters. I mean, stung. he's a pug. He was mad. And then, huh? He'd been stung earlier, so he was Yeah, upset. he was like, thinking this thing again. And then he could hardly <laughs> wait to get outside again yeah. to, to go after To go bees after again. bees again. Like, he's like, <laughs> <We're so laughs> nobody he's stings angry. me and gets away with it. Like, you know, it was amazing. They're I was going like, dude, down. chill out. He gets, like, scared when something moves in the house, and it takes him a while to figure oh, it out. Oh, he barks like, at it A new forever. purse on the, on the like, when people come over, there might be a purse sitting somewhere, and he'll Bark notice it about 10 minutes into being in the room. He'll notice it. And then he'll just start constantly barking at it. Like, that's not supposed to be there, guys. This is new. <laughs> like, yes, yes, Tip. Thank you. But who knew he was a bee warrior? <laughs> you learn new things about your pets every day. I know. We have to, we actually have to lock him up when we go out and do bees. Otherwise, he'll, he'll follow us. Oh, he's like, I got you guys. No need for a suit. <laughs> Babies. <laughs> I just, I just nab him out of the air. <laughs> you guys are wimps. I have wimps. fur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's amazing. Uh, Tingle Tetra ask, uh, said, asks, are you milking the goats? Do you make cheese by any chance? We had gotten the while. cheese question from we time to time. We have yeah. a few times. I think we yeah. did curds. Is it curds? Um, Mom, what did we, I think we made mozzarella cheese. That's, mozzarella. I think that's like the easiest cheese yeah, to make. Farmer's cheese wants to. But you know, we never seem to have enough. We don't have extra uh, <laughs> We milk. drink all the milk. We don't we? We drink. We do. If there's extra mm -hmm. in there. We tend to make either more ice cream or more coffee or more chocolate milk. Yeah. We just yeah. we just up the loads of how much we consume of the milk. We it is amazing right. how much we consume. It, yeah. I mean, yeah. whatever we have, we'll figure out how to use it, and it, it doesn't. It will go. Mm -hmm. It doesn't end up in cheese. Nope. <laughs> mm -mm. Nobody's like, oh, we have extra milk. Let's put it in cheese. And we're like, oh, ice cream, like what you're saying. What ice cream, or this? like, I'll have a daily quart of chocolate milk if if we have yeah, that. If milk. we have that much milk, a quart. In one setting, pretty way much, too much just, milk. Pretty much, we go sweets. <laughs> we don't go cheese. We go sweets. <laughs> We've got it. We sweeted out um, yesterday, and we're all feeling oh, the pain. Oh. 
That was a lot. It was our day off. And then I made cinnamon rolls this morning, which Thank just you, made it way more sweeter. Yeah, and yeah th- but those were healthy <laughs> cinnamon rolls. Let's be real. They were. Yeah. Made from they didn't have any flour. sugar. In. They had agave syrup in the actual bread piece. And then the cinnamon, cinnamon part was, uh, was cinnamon? sugar. Cinnamon part. Cinnamon. Was, but it cinnamon. was the no, organic sugar. Well, you just saying the cinnamon part, and I was just finishing your sentence. It was cinnamon. But yeah, cinnamon. Okay. <laughs> the, the cinnamon part had like the sugar. It did have sugar there. Oh, and the frosting. Okay. But everything else was either agave we syrup. Keep talking. We'll figure out. You put a ton of sugar in it. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to let us know. But we had that. We, had the, we, have, we well, usually take one sure. day off a week. Yep. Mm-hmm. And um, so that was yesterday. And we usually do it on Saturday because Friday we're pretty drained after we get the video out. Everybody's yeah. been working to get every T crossed and every I dotted. Lots of little details to get mm-hmm. the video out. And we're just exhausted by Saturday. And so that's our day we usually take off. And so we decided that, you know, uh, Gary and I were out and about. We had met um, <coughs> met up with um, uh, a farmer to get some wheat berries. And then we were driving them home. And we thought, yeah, it would be fun to bring home a treat, you know, so we don't have to make anything. And just so we stopped at the little dollar store, like probably the best nutrition store there is around. Oh, yeah. Best, oh, yeah. best choices <laughs> yeah, definitely. there. Definitely. And uh, we found there's some awesome deals there. Yeah. I mean, like there were two ninety nine. No, cookies. it was like a dollar and a dollar fifty. Yeah. It was like wow for a so whole pack like, of plastic made <laughs> cookies. Cookies <laughs> made from plastic. Cookies made from plastic. Their calorie count is zero. Okay, in <laughs> our defense, we're not used to those kinds of foods. No, we're not. And yeah. I think all of us. Um, yeah, we're we not. All, our bodies <laughs> were like, um, excuse you? <laughs> what have you done? How come you're we're so bloated? We're like, what? It was fun. <laughs> excuse you? <laughs> so we're mine all paying were, the price. Mine the cookies well. tasted good. <laughs> I, I, don't so think they, I don't know if they really tasted like anything. It was just fun <laughs> to eat. You know? <laughs> taste? Wait, wait, wait. Is that a hint of mint? Taste was too bad. You're assuming we tasted it. We <laughs> ate it so fast. It was, it was, well, I knew we were in trouble when Bryson said, Mom, my stomach hurts. <gasps> I thought you got a stomach, stomach never hurts. <laughs> I thought, uh oh. I was like, I feel like I'm in a barf right now. <laughs> I was like, I better go. Like, okay, okay. T- Thank TMI, you for the TMI. TMI. We're good. TMI. We're good. <laughs> Thanks to leave it to Bryce and to bring Major up the TMI. Pass it went away fast drink. though. It's fine. <laughs> uh, cookies went fast. They were gone. <laughs> so, <laughs> put us out of our misery. We did. Yeah. We lived. We lived. I always <laughs> tend to eat way too much in general, and when you put junk food in front of me. It's like. <laughs> so we probably won't be doing that anytime no. soon. Yeah, we'll like have to forget ever. what happened before we do it again. Yeah, that <laughs> shouldn't take long. We, we, we will do it again. <laughs> probably tomorrow. <laughs> probably just <laughs> has to be enough time in between. We'll be like, oh, why don't we get some cookies, guys? We'll be like, wasn't there a reason? <laughs> nah, <laughs> let's get them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like that. Uh, <laughs> well, we really appreciate you hanging out with our family for this about an hour that we like to hang out and yep. chit chat about about all kinds of goings on, whatever. We're always doing something throughout the week, so there's always something to add, you know. Crazy. Yeah, and so. thank you for your comments because it's yeah. it's fun to oh. have a chance to respond to you. That's and really what the fun part yeah. is too. We get to we get to talk back and and stuff, so it's a little fun there as well. So anyway, we got the visuals. If you're listening on our on, let's see, I got it on, on iTunes and Spotify. If you're listening in those two areas on YouTube, we now have got some visuals going. So if you'd like to see, I mean, it's 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 nothing fancy, just a camera, but if you can kind of see us uh, hanging out here in our office chairs and chilling into mics. Pretty epic. Yeah. Sounds a little <clears throat> bit of a weird sentence, but anyway. We're chilling down the mics. <laughs> we're chilling yeah. the mics down. <laughs> you know, it seems like we're taking a break to come and do this, f- to be that? honest with you. Yeah. Well, that's what we do. We're not building something. We're not or walking or running. Well, I don't we're know why we're running. Doing, but... We're doing something that comes easy to us. Talking. Talking. <laughs> there you go. Isn't that? Let's take a break. Let's talk for an hour. <laughs> yeah. So we appreciate you hanging out with us too and, and being here to chit chat with us. So yes. uh, anyway, thank you so much for being a part of our family and being a part of the discussion. And we will see you on Wednesday. Do we know what we're doing on Wednesday? Yeah, Bryson's going to bring that aquaponic oh. update. He made some changes to his aquaponic system. The thing we were supposed to do last Wednesday. Yeah, so we that hopefully that. if you see <laughs> it, if okay. it if it comes out, then we did it. And if another recap comes out, you'll know we didn't. So. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So anyway, thank you surprise! So much. <laughs> it's always a surprise. Guaranteed. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. And we will catch you uh, Wednesday for that recap aquaponics. Bye. 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 Bye.